Surprising update for Supplemental Security Income Beneficiaries, otherwise known as SSI Beneficiaries, $1,215 on a monthly basis or $14,580 for an individual across the entire year. The plan to increase Social Security benefits by 125% highlights the potential monthly benefit increase over $1,500. Now, the choice between these plans depends on whether the aim is to bring everybody to the federal poverty line or to provide uniform amount of increase to all the beneficiaries. One way or another, the changes to the social security will be going to impact all the social security recipients in various ways. Congress is actively exploring various proposals to reform social security. Today in this video, I'll be discussing some of the important aspects. We are talking about $28.8 billion, what it means for you and your SSI benefits and social security benefits are primary source of income, especially in the retail retirement due to the disability but many people with the ongoing struggle may find that it is difficult to make their end meet just with those SSI benefits. Now you know what that's why it's crucial to stay informed about the potential changes to your benefits. What could it mean? How can you make most of your benefits? I'll be sharing you some of the important details, surprising information. Let's bash the details and we'll be focusing on the packs and the numbers behind the SSI benefits otherwise known as supplemental security income. I'll be discussing a very important aspect on how to fix the program SSI program in a major way that will affect roughly about 8 million beneficiaries who rely on this SSI checks each and every month. Lawmakers are carefully analyzing the potential consequences, the long-term impact and benefits of each of the proposals. Before we begin to all the important details, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. How to guys hit that like button, turn on all the bell notifications so you'll stay updated to all the ladies details is totally free to do so so let's get right into all the details on SSI and what it means for millions of beneficiaries it's likely that changes will be going to impact in the near future for current and future beneficiaries to provide you the clarity how much are you going to receive in terms of monthly benefits the dollar to dollar values let's examine some of the numbers as 2023 federal poverty line where it currently stands and how much benefits can you able to receive all right guys so as of right now current Currently, the federal poverty line stands at $14,580 for individuals. Now, here is the thing. Now, if you do the calculation regarding the increase, how much increase are you going to receive? If this plan were to be implemented, the monthly benefits for eligible recipients would be 125% of the federal poverty line. So, benefit would be 1.25 times federal poverty line. If this plan were to be implemented, the monthly benefits for eligible recipients would be little over over $1,500 compared to the current average of the social security benefit which is $1,801 per month the average social security disability benefits comes just under $1,500 per month therefore this increase could be substantial amount of increase so the proposal to raise social security benefits to 125% of the federal poverty line if this plan were to be implemented it would significantly provide much more benefits for all those groups of people. Now here is the thing guys, we clearly need to acknowledge that SSI beneficiaries are underpaid as of right now. And here is the thing, this is not just my opinion but lot of SSI beneficiaries are talking about speaking of the current rate of the inflation, even the basic necessities are out of the reach for things like buying food, groceries and essential stuff of that kind. It's harder to just rely on those SSI benefits. Now one thing you should ask yourself, what it would really take to fix the SSI program program for millions of beneficiaries. Now quite honestly, it would not take too much of a money as we take a look at the big picture on how to fix the SSI program. So let me get into the details. Now the first and most important goal of the SSI program is to improve the livelihood and the quality of the life for millions and millions of SSI beneficiaries, those who rely on this monthly checks. Now as of right now, there are just under 8 million SSI beneficiaries receiving supplemental security income benefits and this is a very important in program as we speak. So anybody that receive SSI benefits, this is virtually their only source of income. Now you might be saying, and how guys, do you know that? Well, because an SSI beneficiaries can have actually no income. I mean, you can have a couple of dollars of income each and every month. But other than that, that's only income that you can have. Otherwise, if your income exceeds these levels of threshold, which again, by the way, it's only just few dollars per month, then the benefits start to garnish then your benefits 
house will start to diminish in a huge way and you know what if your income start to exceed too much then your benefits are completely gone then basically you lose your benefits so again that is the reason why we know that ssi beneficiaries primarily rely on those ssi checks in a huge way now as of right now in 2023 as disclosed by social security administration the ssi federal payment standard payment is for individual it's 914 dollars per month and for couples it's 1371 dollars for married couples now speaking of more details because you know what these are some surprising numbers realistically these are well below average and you know what these numbers should be based on the statistics based on the real numbers as far as the program was set it up way back in the old days in 1970s when the ssi was actually formed now to discuss all the important details we have to actually move back in the old days back in the 1972 when actually ssi was brought into the implementation so in 1972 there was no such a thing such as ssi and there was nothing of such a kind of a system was around however during at that time looking for a way to help out older adults and people with disabilities providing them with some monthly income so they didn't need to rely on their friends family to get their basic necessities like food grocery housing these kind of a things fulfilled so you know what they said they started implementing the ssi program now the whole purpose behind the ssi program was to live individual up below the federal poverty line and this is to make sure that older adults and people with disabilities are not living in poverty well that was the original plan back in the old days about 51 years ago all right now back in the old days the program was a huge success well if you take a look at right now now you know what after about 51 years later right now there are about 8 million people who rely on those ssi benefits back in the old days in 1972s there was not a lot of beneficiaries who rely on ssi now the next details i'm going to share you can be controversial topic but you know what let's bash the details and we'll be focusing on the packs and the numbers behind the ssi benefits so let's get started let me break down all the important numbers so you can get a pretty good understanding now take a look at this currently in 2023 the federal poverty line is set at 1215 dollars on a monthly basis or 14580 dollars for an individual across the entire year now watch this 1215 dollar on a monthly basis is the federal poverty line that that is the important number you should remember now here is the thing guys on the other hand the maximum benefits for an ssi beneficiaries is for individual it's 914 dollars per month you know what that's the difference of like 301 dollars every single month for ssi beneficiaries if you compare with the federal poverty level and it's considerably below the federal poverty line this means that every single month an ssi beneficiary receives the maximum benefit which by the way are still 301 dollar below the federal poverty line now guys to be honest with you that's a significant amount of money we are talking about 301 dollars each and every month now speaking of the details if let's say if they were to raise everybody's assuming all the beneficiaries needed to be lifted up by 301 dollars per month for all the ssi beneficiaries then remember guys that would be an increased spending by whopping 2.4 billion dollars per month if they just want to increase those benefits to the federal poverty level for all the ssi beneficiaries it would be around 2.4 billion dollars per month extra spending now i'm being sarcastic here because you know what 2.4 billion dollars is literally nothing when it comes down to the federal government it's practically a very less amount of money for the government now to put this in perspective lifting all 8 million beneficiaries of ssi by 301 dollars per month well this would cost an extra 2.4 billion on a monthly basis for the government and of course over the course of the entire year it would cost 28.8 billion to lift all those beneficiaries receiving ssi benefits from the current levels of the maximum which is 914 dollars per month up to the federal poverty line which is 1215 dollars so they need to raise 301 dollars every single month for all 8 million beneficiaries 28.8 billion dollars per year may not seem like a lot of money for the government but it's really not when it comes down to the federal government here's the thing guys every year congress passes millions and trillions of packages you know various kind of packages to fund federal government programs in a single year in the december of the last year you know what they passed out 1.7 trillion dollars bill which would fund the federal government 
payment for next 12 months so you know what it would take that little teeny tiny bit of money 28.8 billion dollar to lift all the ssi beneficiaries up to the federal poverty level all those 8 million ssi beneficiaries now it's important to note that congress is supposed to do this in the september but usually they don't but my point is lifting all the ssi beneficiaries up above the federal poverty line would not cost a lot of money it's actually a relatively small amount of money when it comes down to government budget it's not something congress would seriously consider when they are passing their annual funding bill now it's totally up to the congress whether they will implement it or not but chances are currently as far as i can see currently i don't see any sort of a step moving in the direction where they will be lifting out all those 8 million beneficiaries up above the federal poverty level now what do you think about this do let me know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe